Hello, my name is Sharon Fitzpatrick and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make homemade white bread. That is your lovely loaf of bread. So easy to make. You can't beat the smell of homemade bread. So on this video I'm going to show you how to do it. Very easy. If you like the video, do give it a thumbs up and make sure to leave your comments and I will answer you. And do share it with your friends on social media. And if you haven't done so already, do subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button so that it'll give you a reminder of when the video has come up. I put a new video up every Wednesday. Okay. All right, to make the bread, we're just gonna do a nice simple white loaf today. And you measure out 500 grams of plain flour and just sift it into a bowl. Then you get your 25 grams of butter and you just rub that into, as if you were doing pastry. Maybe treat yourself once a week to do this, making your own bread. You know, maybe at the weekends when you're not working. Of course, this is something you can do with the kids, teach them how to make bread. They'll love it. Great family thing to do together. Now, you can use fresh yeast or you can use dry yeast. There's two types of dry yeast. There's dry yeast where you put it in the, with the water and you put some cling film over it and you let it ferment. You read the instructions. Or if you've got a fast action dry yeast like I have here to make things as simple as possible, you don't need to do any of that. You just literally put the dry yeast into a jug. You add the amount of water, give it a stir and you put it straight into your flour. You don't have to wait for it to ferment. So to get the right temperature water, two parts boiling water to one and a half parts of cold water. And that would give you your night, the right temperature. So I need 300 mils of water, warm water. And you just give this a stir. And then you want to just spread some flour onto your worktop. And then you simply put a hole in the middle of your flour pour in your yeast mixture and then you can get stuck in there with your hand straight away if you wanted to or you can just mix it a little bit with a spoon and then once it gets a bit firmer you can just get hold of it with your hand you can see it's coming together a little bit now so now I'm just going to get my hand and try and bind it all together so you can see it's starting to come together so I'll take it out and put it onto your floured surface. And then we're going to knead it. So you're going to bring it towards you, lift your fingers underneath and bring it towards you. And then you push down with the palm of your hand and put it away. Turn it slightly and then lift your fingers up and push it away. And start kneading it together like that. Just keep turning, pulling and pushing and it will come together to make a lovely dough in a minute. You can see already, it doesn't take long to get like this. See how it's looking? And you want to knead this for about 10 minutes. If you find it getting a bit sticky, just put a little bit more flour. It's quite relaxing working with the dough and I find it quite therapeutic. And again, the kids would love this and this is great for their fine motor skills as well. And of course, making homemade bread or the just it tastes so nice when it's fresh straight out of the oven and the smell is amazing. Who doesn't like the smell of fresh bread? It's that pulling and pushing action. You can see how nice this is looking now. So just keep kneading. As I said, for that 10 minutes. And do you know it's good exercise for your arms? <laughs> if you get the right blade read the manufacturer's instructions, you can do this in a food processor. But it's actually, as I said, I find it nice and relaxing kneading by hand. You can either do it with one hand or two hands, whichever way you want to do it. So what we're going to do with this now is we're going to put it in a bowl. Now we, before we put this in the, the bowl, we just need to lightly oil it. So I'm just getting some olive oil and just get your hands in there and just swirl it around so 
basically when that door comes out it's not going to stick to the bowl so just place that in and then just put some cling film over it now if your dish isn't that tall and you think that it might touch the cling film just put some oil onto the cling film to stop it from sticking to it well as it rises i also put a damp tea towel so i've just wet it under the tap and gave it a good squeeze and i just place that over now keep it in um, a fairly warm place, a fairly warm room, but you want to make sure it's not got any drafts or hot spots, just an even temperature. The colder the room, the longer it will take to rise. Um, roughly it will take about two hours and it should double in size. Okay, so as you can see after the two hours, this has risen nicely. You can see all the nice air bubbles. Right, what we're going to just do is get our tin and we're just going to grease our tin. You can do it with butter or a bit of oil, it's up to you. I'm just using a bit of olive oil. Now you can use a, a brush to do this, but I find it's just as easy to do it with my fingers. Right, and what we do is we knock out, it's called knocking out. So you just give it a little bit of a punch down like that. And you can see it shrink down as I punched it. Then we take it out. And because you put the oil in there, it doesn't stick to the bowl. And we get some flour and just sprinkle that onto your worktop. And then we give it another knead for about one or two minutes. Not for long. Just give it another good stretch. So you're pulling your fingers towards you and your palms in the middle. It's a little bit slippery with the oil. You just flatten it out. You can roll it out with a pin or you can just flatten it with your hands. You want it so roughly the width of the, the tin and you roll it. And the underside of it you put it at the bottom of the tin. And then you let this rise for about half an hour to an hour. If you want, you can make a couple of um, marks along that will kind of split the loaf open. You can do that at this stage or you can do it after it's doubled in size again. So we put a cling film on because the cling film will touch the dough, you want to make sure that you put some cooking oil onto the cling film. Just put a little bit and then spread it with your finger. And then you get your damp tea towel. And you just leave that for about half an hour to an hour so it doubles in size. Right, so we're just going to take this out of the oven. Oh, and look at this. This is a perfect looking loaf. Right, because we've oiled the tin, it will be nice and easy to come out. So just lift this up and we'll put it on a cooling rack. But you'll be able to tell it's cooked nicely because it'll be hollow sound as you tap the bottom. That is your lovely loaf of bread. So easy to make. So we're just going to cut into this bread now so you can see what it's like inside. Oh, this smells so nice. Oh, look at that. How is that for a lovely slice of homemade bread? Delicious. And you can't beat putting a bit of real butter when it's nice and warm onto the bread and just let it melt. So I'm going to tuck into this and enjoy this with a lovely cup of tea. So I've just toasted um, a piece of it and it's, oh, I'm so looking forward to this. 
and then I'm just going to simply add some lovely homemade scrambled egg onto the toast and if you want to see how to make the scrambled egg I'll put a link below thanks for watching the video today on how to make your own homemade white bread I'm looking forward to doing more videos on different types of bread for the future so I hope you enjoyed it